everybody, it's Mike with Asymmetrical Preparedness. This video is about a first aid kit I just got. But first off, if you guys like the channel, please subscribe, hit the like button, you know, do all the things. And check us out on Patreon. We're doing good things that are really good things. Got a lot of exclusive content and stuff. Um, doing, you know, yeah, awesome things. And I appreciate all you guys there, my patrons, you guys are awesome. So, what this first aid kit is, I got on Amazon. Um, it was actually a recommendation. Um, TJ of Bear Independent got it, and he said it's a pretty decent kit for the money. You know, it's an inexpensive kit. I think it was, uh, it may have been like $80 or something like that on Amazon. Um, I may, I, now that I see the kit, and I, I, I go through them and check it all out and stuff like that, I may even add it to my storefront. Because, uh, you know, for the money, um, I just, all I did is open it up really quick. I looked through it really quick, and I'm like, oh, you know, for the money, it's pretty decent. So what is it? This is the kit right here. Here, let me uh, move the uh, name down here so you can see it. There you go. It's the M, what is it? M-F-A-S-C-O, Mafasco Health and Safety um, Kit on Amazon. So let me show you what's in it. First off, you got these, uh, you know, it's a, it's a pretty chintzy bag. It, it's definitely, I would, this is definitely a low quality bag. I wouldn't say the bag is any is worth a crap at all really I wouldn't keep it in this bag um, unless you just use this to throw it in a vehicle or um, if you're for your home use stuff like that but like in a tactical environment I definitely wouldn't use this bag so just saying um, it does have a chintzy little um, uh, your shoulder strap you can attach um, it's yeah it's really chintzy the bag is yeah thumbs down but what's inside is pretty decent for the money so it's got the little buckles, you know, you open up the buckles here. You got a Velcro and container and it opens up like that. You can see some stuff in the front. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull stuff out of the front and show it to you guys. So first thing we got here is a survival rescue blanket. Uh, you know, foil blanket. Basic. Whatever. All right, we got a sterile splinter out. So what is that exactly? So basically, little like little tweezers. That's what it looks like. I'll open one up. Check it out. You got a little uh, pen light here with a pupil gauge on the side of it. What's kind of cool is you just push this uh, push the thing down to turn it on. Eh, you know, it's a pen light. <laughs> it's not a uh, you know super whammadine or anything like that. Then you got your little basic CPR first aid um, book. Uh, AED also and the little pocket here in the front then I got the other one we got so we got two pairs of you know nitrile gloves basic all right we got two different size bandages you can see on the back side that's what they are knuckle bandages and finger bandages it calls them all right and then so this part of the bag those are just two front pockets this part of the bag opens up like that and I'll start pulling out the components. And actually here, what I'll do is, uh, you guys can look at the bag and components instead of my face. So as I'm pulling them out here, this is what you got. The bag opens up like this. So you got a gauze refill first aid pack. I'll show you right here, which consists of two four x four gauze pads, two three x three gauze pads, two two x two gauze pads, two 2x3 two non-adhesive, non-adhering pads, two 5x9 ABD pads, two oval eye pads, and one roll of, of adhesive tape. Here you can kind of see in the back, you see the adhesive tape and the different bandages there. So yeah, hey, it's gauze. Pretty decent though. All right, this little thing is cool. What I, what I noticed about this little thing, when you grab this pack and you open it up like this, open it up like this, but then see these little op these little openings here. So don't, if, if the shuffle will just fall out. So basically pull it back on itself like that to hold it. Um, and it's got a bunch of different stuff here. I'll show you a bunch of the, you know, I'll read off the stuff. So here you got a uh, sting relief, insect bite, antiseptic, and pain reliever. You got uh, antiseptic towelette. Next thing you got is uh, proton iodine prep pads right there. And the last thing on this side is sterile alcohol prep pads, right there. Then this side you got uh, antimicrobial hand wipes right here. Then you got some uh, uh, neomyosin antibiotic right here. Over
over here you got some burn gel and then ammonia towelettes on this side. So pretty decent, you know, hey, whatever, it's a bunch of stuff that you may need. So I'll roll back up, set it up to the side. Okay, so next thing, I'll start on this side. We got rolled gauze times two, two of this size. So that's like the, uh, what, four inch and, or actually like three, three and a half inch. And then what, that's like one, one and a half inch. So you got two of each of those. Then you got here, you got a multi-trauma dressing. So you basically got a big trauma pad, big dressing. Eh, not too bad. Then right here we got the uh, instant cold compress. You guys have seen those before, so you got two of those. So I'll put those back in. What's this out here? So we got, oh, triangular bandage. And here we got a box of 280 assorted bandages, non-stick pads. Great for a large family. <laughs> so there you go, there's that. Oh, I hadn't noticed that before, but we got a set of shears right here. And I'm going to go through and unbag all this stuff and get it out of the boxes and stuff like that and prep it for how I actually want the bag. You know, uh, they're uh, cheapo shears, but they'll cut. They'll do the things, I guess. Pretty cheap, but hey, it's a capability. And for 80 bucks, it's a pretty decent kit so far, I think. This is really good for uh, people with uh, high blood or um, blood sugar issues. We got there some glucose gel. It's a good thing to have in there. So we got two things of uh, eye wash right here. We got a roll of the. Uh, um, Self-adhesive bandage, three inch. There you go, like Coban basically. Here we got purified water, eye wash solution. You see that? Okay, and right here you got your uh, first aid respirator. How do you attach that? Yeah, basically your breathing mask. You guys have seen those. And a pair of gloves in there also. So, yeah, that's pretty decent. You know, gives you a capability if you don't have one. This is pretty cool. We got a arm or a cuff, blood pressure cuff. So that's pretty decent. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's probably a, a, a cheapo one. Um, let me see. Let's open it up and find out. All right, so you open up the box. You got a cheapo case here. <laughs> YKK zipper? No, I'm kidding. Not. <laughs> it's a cheapo one. But, you know, hey, whatever. So, and like, yeah, this bag, yeah, that's going to go off to the side. I can throw that away. So you got a user manual. I'll throw that in there. Why not? Just because. So it shows you the range, arm size. Roll it out. Little pump type. Um, hopefully it shows you how to, uh, I guess, the... Uh, Instruction here shows you which tube. Oh, okay. So you got the meter, sorry, blood pre the pressure meter and the pump. And I'm sure the instructions show you which one to hook up to, although I would guess this is the meter and this is the uh, pump because that's the way it should be. So let me see. I will roll this back up. I'll put this away in here and see how well I can roll it up and not mess it up. There we go. Roll that up, set it back in there because that's how I'm going to keep it. Stethoscope. Hey, not too bad, I mean, as long as it works. Throw the bag away, throw the plastic bag away. Yeah, you want to get all your stuff out of the bags in a kit like this, because you don't want to sit there and have to be trying to fight like this, like I am right here, trying to get this thing out of the plastic bag when you know, you're in a medical need. So this, you know, the little head here comes in a uh, plastic bag. You got a cheapo little head thing. You got the, uh, cuff so basically this plug these ports plug into here uh, push them down onto there push this down onto here push that down on the other side I'll take the head out of the little plastic baggie if I can see this is why you don't want to be doing this in an emergency you want to have all this stuff already prepped and ready to go all right slide the hose onto that and you're ready to go bam stethoscope then just roll it up, put it back in the kit, 
and you're ready to go. So, all in all, it's a pretty decent kit, I guess. Uh, let me see, how are the bandages bandit wrapped? Oh, so they're all loose in there. So I'll probably just keep these in the box. Because, you know, if you're grabbing for a bandage, you're not in a trauma situation. So it doesn't, you don't have to get to a band-aid really quick. So, let me see, put all this back, put the first aid kit there. And there, you know, there's some more room in here to add, to, to uh, customize it and put some more stuff in here. There's little mesh pockets here on the side that are, you know, really cheapo. Like I said, the bag is not impressive whatsoever. But what's in it, not too bad. Um, it's got some bungee here, some, uh, um, yeah, bungee type material that you can hook stuff to if you want to. Um, yeah, so all in all, it's a, uh, I don't know, it's not too bad of, bad of a bag. I'm pretty happy with it for, you know, the price we paid for it. I think it was 79 bucks. It does have these little side pouches here that are empty right now, so you can put more stuff in there if you want, customize it. Uh, maybe throw some food in there or something like that for your bag. Here's the Chinsu shoulder strap. So, let me move this back up. All in all, I'm happy. I'm happy with spending 80 bucks for this. So, yeah, I'll probably throw in the Amazon storefront because I think it's a it's a good deal. Um, you get a you know some decent stuff. Expand your capabilities if you don't have these capabilities. Or just to grab an extra med bag. Throw this in each vehicle. I mean, that's not that much money. Um, throw in each vehicle. Have one in your house or a couple in your house. You know. It's got the cool reflective tape on it, you know. And this is, bag is super high speed. So, you know, we got to have one. No, seriously. I think it's a good bag. Um, like I said, I'll probably throw it in the Amazon storefront. Because uh, it, it's I, I'm happy with the value. It is, you know, it's a little on the cheap side. It's not a North American rescue bag, but those are four hundred dollars. So, um, and yeah, I suggest, I recommend you guys get one of those too. <laughs> but this is a good little bag to grab and just, uh, you know, have laying around. So, my recommendation overall is a thumbs up. So, um, yeah, like I said, they didn't pay me. I, I'm not paid to do this. Uh, you know, I just my wife and I ordered one of these the other day, as well as a uh, um, uh, North American rescue Gen Seven cat because you can never have too many um, tourniquets laying around. So yeah, I just want to show you guys. I thought it just came in the mail today, and I'm like, oh, cool, I'll do a video about it as I look at it. So I just did. And I uh, hope you guys are prepping a little every day, prepping out of peace of mind, not out of fear, uh, and that you're ready for things. Uh, and this is one step. Medical is very important. Uh, and God, like God, if you guys have ever been in a traumatic a trauma situation, you go through a lot, a lot of God. So whatever God you think is enough, double it. And then you still won't have enough. <laughs> so, please do the things. I love you guys and blessings to you and yours.